One of my favorite YouTubers is industrial designer Eric Stubble, and uh, on his channel he shows a lot of the beautiful handiwork that he does to make up prototypes and mock-ups, and he uses a lot of the techniques that I used to use when I ran a service bureau. So I really enjoy watching him uh, fine-tune and cut things by hand, and I also know it's a lot harder than he makes it look. He's uh, very skilled and the videos are quite enjoyable but there was one video from last year where he took a microphone and uh, modified the circuit now uh, I have the same microphone and I decided that I was going to do the same mod to it and I was so happy with the upgrades that uh, I've done my own little upgrade and uh, re and replaced the rubber suspensions with uh, with springs Here we go, here's the uh, suspension adapter. And what I've done is I've uh, taken out the elastics, which uh, have failed on me twice. And I've uh, modeled the suspension stand here in Fusion 360. And then I've built a little adapter plate, this little triangle plate here. And uh, that's 3D printed and I'll upload the the STL file for that so you can have that anyone wants to do this and uh, the spring if you have a spring that's about an inch long and can stretch to uh, an inch and a quarter inch and three-eighths somewhere in there it will probably work for this application and uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out this uh, this actually uh, was about uh, 20 minutes of modeling to do the stand and then I uh, designed the part I printed one out the first one I printed out was uh, a little oversized but they take you know three four minutes to print each and then uh, I used a bunch of springs that I'd got in uh, Princess Automotive and a big grab bag of springs so I was able to use uh, what is that 16 of them here probably would never use those springs otherwise. And here's the uh, sketch of the plate. And, uh, it's all been modeled in such a way that I can expand it and contract it, make sure everything fits properly. The uh, Final pieces were uh, selected and then extruded. And that's how we got our part. It was, uh... So here's the uh, adapter plate, a nice zoom in view of that. You can see it's only a couple of millimeters thick. So once I had all 16 adapters printed out and uh, 16 springs arranged, I made two rings of 8 and 8 and then proceeded to assemble them onto the uh, microphone mount. And it takes a bit of time and it can be a bit tricky. I had to uh, sand some of the openings to fit. But as you can see, they, uh, they fit quite nicely. I will... Uh, Put a part number up for the, uh, the springs that I found online, which uh, are very similar to the ones that I used. Be easier to make them. And here's a nice close-up of the assembled part. This is how the microphone looks when all the springs are installed, and. Uh, you can see that it's really nice and solid. It's uh, better suspended than it ever was with the original uh, fiber, springy, bungee, hair, elastics, whatever they were. But I'm really happy with that and I, uh, I think I might change my other suspension mic that uses rubber bands to the same system. I'm really happy with that. Well, thanks for watching till the end. See you next time.